Hello everyone and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and today we are diving into a hot topic, the future of Power BI with Microsoft Fabric and how this is going to reshaping the, our work in 2024. Imagine having a co-pilot by your side handling all the repetitive tasks for your Power BI development and then you can focus on exciting insights. Sounds amazing, right? But does it mean the job loss of Power BI professionals? or this is the way of working in the future. Let's find out today in this video. So today we will explore what is Microsoft Fabric and what is also overview about the Copilot and how this is going to redefine the way of working in Power BI and what new and experienced Power BI developer need to focus on the future in 2025 onwards. So let's get familiar with Microsoft Fabric first. So Microsoft Fabric is an unified integrated Microsoft platform that actually provides the information for all the data professionals, whether you are a data engineer or you are a data scientist or data analyst or even the business analyst. So everybody can work on the same single environment. So the data also they can reuse because the data is being stored on one leg as a storage layer, which is going to be the single source of truth. Everybody can access that and do the process and then store it back to that place. From there, other people can get access to that and do the work. So that is a seamless integration between all these things, which is why it called unified architecture, unified experience, unified governance and unified business model. And not only that, this is actually backed by Microsoft Purview as a security layer. And also it is every layer of Microsoft Fabric is actually have integrated with Microsoft Copilot and assistance, AI assistant for you in order to increase the work, your productivity basically. So that's what how it is. So now the topic is how this is related to Power BI. So this means more unified data experience for Power BI users. Fabric allows to handle a large volume of the data, data sets integrated more seamlessly with other data sources and it's accessible all within the single platform, which is Microsoft Fabric. So imagine a retail business, those who are having multiple stores in different parts of the world and they want to monitor the sales in the real time. So they can sync the data using this KQL, which is custom query language, and then they can track this into real time into Microsoft Fabric Power BI reporting onwards. So this actually ingests the data from these IoT sensors or the real time data, which is going to happen on KQL. And from that KQL, we can store the data directly into one leg. And from that, we can also take the report in Power BI. Or if you just want to show the telemetry information, we can directly ingest the data into KQL, KQL has a database on that and from there we can also build the Power BI report. This is really powerful and if you're not about sure about what is KQL and what is Fabric, I have a list of playlists and list of videos on my channel. You can just check out that so that you can get more clarity about that. So you don't need to have multiple different tools in order to work on all these kind of requirement. Everything can be doable and possible within the single environment. So now let's talk about the new partner, which is in analytics, which is Copilot. Microsoft is integrating this Copilot, which is basically an A assistant agent we can call um, in other terms. So it actually help us to reduce our work and it can do our tasks. We just need to give an input to that with the natural language. Currently, it is only acceptable good working in English language. So we just need to be learn this prompt engineering where we can just talk about what we need in simple English and we just inform him and it can do our work automatically. Like I said, so Copilot, it helps to reduce your work, right? For example, if you want to create a page and but you have the data set available, you can just ask them, then it can going to understand the data and then it is going to create you a new page. Or else if you have some doubts on creating a tax calculation, which is actually a lot of problem for many, many Power BI developers, right? So in that case, they can just ask natural questions in Copilot and they will try to understand the data and then come up with the tax queries. Most of the time it is going to be correct, but still this is an A generated one. So you need to make sure that the calculation, the outcome of that is working perfectly as we are expecting to that. So every A agent like ChatGPT or whatever you're going to use, it actually clearly says the information that this is an A generated one. It can make mistakes because this is still learning on things what you are going as an input and what is returning at based on the language it has behind the scene, right? So if you're not sure about what is uh, Copilot and what is also the large language model, I also have a topic about this, how the generative AI works and other stuff. You can also check out that in my channel. So now what does this mean for Power BI developers in 2025 or future? 
So as is, you can see it on the image here. So Fabric actually integrate with all the different tools like Power BI. We have a data science. We have a data engineering. So all these aspects, right? So being a Power BI developer, you don't need to focus on all these things, but you can just focus on other part, which I'm going to cover on the next slide. That actually helps you to increase your knowledge, skill, and productivity as well. So now the question is, how should a Power BI professional, whether you are experienced or a new Power BI professional, what you need to learn in Fabric and Copilot in future? So basically, you just need to be master the basics of Power BI. You need to understand the Power Query. You need to understand the data modeling. You need to understand the DAX. You need to understand the visualization part. All these things, and also you need to learn about the business requirement. So that is actually an important thing. Even though I have met uh, several Power BI professionals during the interview, they are good at Power BI thing, but they are all lacking behind in the business experience. If you are building a report for the sales, or if you are building a report for your inventory management, make sure you just get the transformation, the download from the business people that what actually you are going to build. It is not something like they ask you to build these things and this is the logic for that and you build it in Power BI that fulfills the requirement for the business. But in reality, you need to also get aware of this business thing because tomorrow if you're going to work on other company with the same business domain like inventory or sales or finance or HR, then you can actually give the input like you have worked on this company. It can be a bigger company than what you're working right now. You can just give your input, valuable input that we have made this kind of KPI, this kind of metrics in that company. You can also adopt that over here. This definitely will help you in order to get recognition on the new company. So knowing the knowledge of Power BI basics and also the business domain is actually necessary because that is going to be the key factor for you because technology can replace by any people at any point of time. But having a business experience is also a must for you. So you need to make sure that you are getting a proper understanding about the development, what you're actually doing during your development phase. All right. Now, when it comes to this one, uh, first of all, you need to master the basics and then you need to understand some part of the fabric here. As you can see, I just highlighted here data analysis where you have this data warehouse, real time analytics and Power BI and Copilot. These are the four which I added here. The other thing is actually for other different people like data engineers, data scientists and business decision makers. But as you are being Power BI, if you are an experienced one and you already have Power BI knowledge, then it's time for you to learn about the Copilot as well as this real time analytics and data warehouse here. So almost all of them, whatever it is had, it actually covers on my video. You can also check out that on my channel. But if you are a Power BI starting up on these things, you need to make sure that you start with Power BI and then Copilot and then real-time analytics and then with data warehouse. So you need to go on this phase so that you can get clear picture about that. So what is the business and job impact? That's the main question, right? So for companies, the new Power BI experience means faster data driven decisions and then less manual effort in order to build this data analytics reports in Power BI. So team can respond to make changes in quicker and most faster manner. So as we are running into this EA era, it actually has to be much faster. So that's the reason I have made an image here, speed to market. Based on the market demand, we had to adapt and then we had to respond accordingly. So in terms of job growth and transformations, for Power BI developers, this transformation means upskilling yourself with other skills like the co-pilot, real-time analytics, and then this data warehousing aspect. And there will be greater demand for these skills in future because as being a data growing day by day on a regular basis, we need a data analyst more and more on this basis. So it is a really must for you. So data engineers and data analysts and all these things will going to grow in future as well. And then think of a co-pilot as a kind of teammate for you that it's not going to replace you. It's going to help you in order to speed up your work. The unnecessary work which you have to do manual tasks um, multiple times for a single report that you can do it automation using this co-pilot here. You just ask natural language, it will help to do that work here. There are a lot of things which you need to keep in mind in order to work co-pilot in greater manner. So you need to learn the prompt engineering and you also need to learn about your data structure model here. So to wrap this up, Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric and Copilot are bringing transformative changes to Power BI thing. For Power BI developers, it stands to upskill and focus on strategic areas like the business experience, which I mentioned. Embrace the change and you will find the more opportunities. It is not actually less. If this video gives you insights, then please like this video and share with others. 
and if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i am going to post this kind of videos in future a lot so let me know about your feedback in the comment section so that we can keep on our conversion going on and remember automation is here to elevate our work not to replace it thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video